Hello guys, so good to five here today. We're actually playing Medieval Total War, but that is actually how you expect it. Today we're actually playing with the Third Age Lord of Ringerswan. It's not really called Third Age Lord of Ringerswan, it's actually called Third Age. But I'd like to add Lord of Rings in, if you don't know what the Third Age mod is. And today we are doing a 2v2 battle. I don't have any friends, so we're just facing against the AI. My troops are over here. We are the Sylvan Elves, so we have really good numbers of troops. And actually, I gotta say, um, the Sylvan Elf Archers are pretty good at melee combat, and they have range so far. You actually, I could probably keep them like right in front of these guys, and they'll be able to shoot. But I told them not to shoot for a bit until we move up. And we have just normal elves over here on our side. We have the High Elves fighting with us. Which is actually quite crazy because they're getting slaughtered right now. So as I see actually they're trying to move up. Look at the small volley of arrows, attack! I did not know trolls can actually be on the walls, so that's actually but as you see, the orcs of Mordor are trying to hold off the castle. I'm pretty. This is not like a historical battle of Lord of the Rings, but I'm just saying like after Sauron felt like after Sauron has fallen, the elves decide to attack one of the fortresses. We're all, and so this is like the last defense of the orcs. The men decided to pull back as their numbers were low. The elves decided to say to fight all the, the attack the remaining force of the orcs and see if they can kill them all before before they do any more harm to the people of Middle Earth. As you see, there's arrows flying. It is actually quite crazy. Orcs are trying to maintain their defenses, as for which we are actually moving into charge. Some of the orcs actually take the defense a little too aggressively and decide to attack. Which actually, some of my. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders! That's actually how some of the high elves actually got into the castle by. They just pushed them back, captured the gateway, and moved it from there. As we, we took the hard way. This game is a bit buggy, so don't mind it. So these guys are going to be perfectly fine. These guys are not going to be perfectly fine. We'll see why here in a second. But like, these guys should not be perfectly fine, but they are. This game is still buggy. It still has some things to work out on. Like as you see, they just stopped right there and then just charged it in. It's for these guys to get to one spot and that happens. They fall to have slain death. the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. <laughs> That's one out of like two. I think the enemy general is actually hiding up here. As you can see, they actually just stormed the gate. That's how they pretty much got. They took the gate away so they could move the rest of the forces in. So they pretty much took it by force. They had the easy way in, but also the quite risky because that was the worst of the lot of his men and cavalry. That was quite crazy here, you see. <laughs> I actually feel like Pixelated Apollo now. He's like a YouTuber. If you know him, then you know who I'm talking about. If you don't know him, then a sponsor his channel because he's a cool guy. He does videos like these. Captured the enemy's walls. Okay. I don't know. I don't like what the orcs are doing here because they're pretty much throwing everything they got out the tree at the enemy. Which is Siege quite towers stupid. Are at the walls. Have nowhere to hide. But even though our elves are a short number, they are killing quite a lot of orcs because they have their whole lives to train for this. For sure, because they live for such a long time. They could pretty much 
age to 170 and still look like they're in their 20s. So, elves live for a long time, so they have a long time to train for. So as you see, we're trying to take out the enemy on the walls before anything else, and then I just freaking start charging out my troop sandwich. That was stupid because, well, because we don't really, because they're all starting to take this ladder, which is quite dangerous. But I did not realize it. Our men have reached the gate with the battering ram. I gotta say, some NPCs in this game are quite dumb. They're not too dumb. <laughs> yeah, I did not notice that our men were climbing up the ladders. That was actually quite bad. But as you can see, elves are actually charging into the wall. Charging up into the gates, walls, ladders, trying to take over the best of the game. Absolutely the orcs do not stand a chance defending this wall. Arrows are flying, soldiers are coming. Like they are completely out of has done its work. They absolutely stand no chance in this fight. Here, this is where things start to get interesting, because this is when all the troops that we got start moving into the castle to fight off all the rewards rewards that they got. Because they got a couple of rewards here, but not too many. They feel bad for these two guys right here, because they're like out in the open while all the other guys are fighting for the wars. And as you can see, all the elves are coming back down the ladder because they pretty much lost the gateway, but not by too much. They, they got it open. The Tower City is actually on my allies' point of view right now. So the allies do not, my allies do not have that big of a trouble. The high elves do not have that big of a trouble at all. They are actually holding off the orbs and killing them off group by group. They're pretty much starting to throw themselves at them now because they do not stand a chance. And they're trying to actually make their final defense here with a massive orb force that just piled up together. <laughs> if we had trebuchets or cannonballs, if we fire a bunch of balls right there, that probably take them like a lot of them out. But they will not break until we take the center or either they fight to the death. Which one way it's better for the other anyways. <laughs> I just love how the ends are just like walking over on all the orcs and lyrics that they got. Just ready to charge in. Like the ends power gonna charge in right into the center and just Kick a, kill a lot of them, gain us the advantage. As you can see, a lot, a lot of our troops are just starting to move in now, We're trying to take out all the groups that we can. And our allies are actually starting to move in now for once. They will help us fight, I hope. I, I never saw them when we were fighting up here. Either they were down here holding or they just decided not to get involved and just have me do all the work. I do not know what's up with that. It might get a little laggy because there's too many orcs, too many NPCs in one spot. Look, we already got one int right here killing a whole ton of orcs. The only thing that helped him was the trolls. The only things that helped the orcs win was the trolls and the archers that they got. But too bad they had a lot of the archers up in the front right over here. So they 
got attacked by a lot of our men. Actually, I should have said elves. Oh, elves. Oh! Ooh, that elf is going in for the kill. That, no one's not going to mess with that elf. Unless a whole ton of them gather around him. Whole ton of them. So as you can see, the orcs are all trying to kill off the ends as the ends try to kill off the orcs. Which I'm saying the ends are actually doing a pretty good job of wiping out all the orcs. There's really no fighting going on on this side anymore because I guess pretty much you decided to be lazy and just have my guys do the work. The only thing he did was actually send a bunch of guys with him. I didn't. He had some archers too. I don't know if he sent them in to help us or that he kept them all back. No, they were trying to help us. They're just saying this stupid wall. But you see. Fire arrows are in the air, hitting down upon the birds, while the ends are fighting, and the elves are moving in, trying to take out all that they could. Actually can't, but... And you see, the orcs are not making it too easy for them. The orcs are actually making it quite difficult. And as you see up in the front here, the elves are just getting ready to shoot. I love it because they like they have that little bow animation too with the arrow, how the bow bends back. That's not really true in the moment. Comes another volley. Ooh, and a lot of those volleys hit our ends, but don't take them down. It takes out some orcs. Will that be enough? Probably not. So, as you can see, it's slowly moving towards us to be the victors. Oh my gosh, they're just trampling on every single tree. You can see a couple of monsters in this fight. I see one now. I have not yet seen any fallen ends in this fight. Here come the axemen, coming down, bringing terror on the orcs. As rest of the elven force march in to aid the ends and the axemen in this fight. I feel like these are the Romans because they're like marching into battle instead of like just charging right in. Those volleys are at, with our ends in the middle, those volleys are actually wiping out a lot of those trolls are trampling on their own trolls. Making it an easier target for us and our army. Oh wow, actually our allies do come in and try to help us. Only half the enemy force remains. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. So our allies did come in, but not by too much. They're just sending a little bit of good. They're just sending waves. They're pretty much just sending their troops in, fight for a small bit, and then just pull them back out. Too bad I think it just shows up and wipes them out. Elves are really just sitting back, kind of taking it slow but easy. Like they're hitting them hard but taking it easy on the fights. I say our allies had the hardest fight of all because they literally had to force their way in. They did not use any battering rams, did not use any lasers, siege towers. They just pretty much wait for them to open the gate and just have them charge right in. And they lost a lot of guys in that, but our guys didn't really have that much trouble. The only thing that was troubling was this ladder. 
is the look of all our dead men on the bottom. That's stupid Abby. We have a couple dead guys up on the walls, but they weren't really a big problem. Yorks in the walls were not really such a big problem. As you can see, we already lost the game. But you can see the carnage that the Ents did. That the Ents destroyed so much orcs that you can just see the ground of the orcs. Barely can't even see the ground with all the dead orcs that the Ents killed. I only had like two groups of Ents and they pretty much did a lot of damage to the orcs. Bad, I lost a couple ends in this fight. Actually, no, I lost like a lot of them. Only like a couple survived this fight. I don't really I don't remember the head count or the truth, but these are this is pretty much a road, like a replay. That's why you did not see me command troops send in to attack. But the elves are just getting them. But we can like this, we will by the smash the S. But as as always, the elves have the numbers, the orcs just have the well, pretty much the power, but we just have the numbers and the power. So it makes it hard for us, but it makes it hard for them. Twice as more hard for them to kill us off. The only thing that's helping them in this fight is those trolls, but they're up in the front lines while our while we're wiping them out here. Our ends are just kicking our those poor those poor orcs around. They're just kicking those orcs around like ugh. But like I said, they're just kicking those orcs around like they're playing soccer with each other. Either they hit them like it's a bug in the air. Like they cause so much damage, you can see how many dead orcs are on the ground because of these group of ants. Is that gonna prove the ants are a little too OP? So is Sauron, but ants are more easy to kill than Sauron. <laughs> I think the actually orcs are actually making a huge tremendous push to keep us back. Some more allies in this fight, not too many though. It's mostly my men. I think the rest got denied. But as you can see, elves are just clashing right into each other with the orcs. Swords are flying. Swords are swinging everywhere. Arrows are just flying. Orcs are just getting stomped on by those ends and getting kicked around. Our, foe, our enemy has command of the castle. It is actually quite crazy how much force we have, and they have a bigger force than we do. But those ends are actually annihilated. And like I said, I kind of feel like a pixel Apollo doing like a third age of the war. To let you guys know, this is not a, a re uh, replay of a video that someone sent me. This is actually a replay that I did. It is actually quite crazy that how many orcs they are versus how many numbers we are. The only thing that is helping us are the ants. I can see the only three ants are surviving this fight so far. The rest got killed, but you can just see where our troops haven't been yet, the elves, but the ants have been here. You could just see the carnage that they caused. There was a huge number of orcs, and now they're just the small number. Only if my ally could send in his troops, we might have a better chance. We might have actually had a better chance of saving more lives of elves instead of having them sit back and do nothing. I guess I'm making sure there's nothing that escaped so far. 
as you can see, there's just arrows everywhere, flying everywhere, just spears and swords, background ends. I think actually the last, um, yeah, the last troll was down here. He's dead. So they, they would actually have a better chance if they would have saved the trolls instead of having them charge right into my men. But I say that they just wasted their trolls and pretty much screwed themselves. The ends are actually helping us. They're kicking like a pathway for us to move in. But the elves are trying not too much to get any into ways because they don't want to get accidentally hurt by the ends. Ooh, we could have lost a lot of guys there because they were outnumbered back here. They're still kind of outnumbered, but not by too much on this side. This side, the orcs are actually quite outnumbered and outskilled. Those ends are just stomping on them like they're a bunch of bugs. I just gotta keep coming back here and look at the carnage that the ends do to these poor orcs. Gunda bang. Bang. Gunda bad or something. That. I don't, I'm not really good with some of the names because some Lord of the Rings names are really hard to pronounce. Ooh, we just actually lost an end today. Our ends are actually standing still like the trees now. That's actually quite funny. It looks like the elves are going to save. Except for this guy. This guy is getting slaughtered by the archers as well. Beware! The chance for us to regain control of the castle is almost gone. We've lost half of our men. Yeah, this fight was actually quite crazy. Here go the ends. The ends are back in action. Ooh, that smash! That took out a lot of those guys. But what? But if orcs are in the town center, they will not retreat. They will not pull back. They will actually fight to the death until there's none remaining. He actually killed a couple of our friendlies. But a few are okay. Just a few. Well, this guy is all alone. He didn't make it. So he's seen his fellow elves. And his and the ends take out all the orcs at the end of the day. Only the ends didn't kick the friendlies. You the enemy is no longer in command getting, of the castle. As you can see, orcs are just getting tossed around. Elves are just pushing in. They're just kicking them around, tossing them around, smashing them around. As the elves are just coming right behind them, killing off what remains. Here's a Nazgul. The Nazguls are pretty hard to kill. And they do so much damage to you, the troops. So they're doing a whole. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. That actually makes it easier for us to kill. But I actually, I can see our allies are actually like pulling out troops and then pulling back in. Like they're pulling in troops and then pulling them back out. So they're doing their best to help out. But the fight will still continue on, no matter what. Even though if my men do lose this fight, my it will take up to my allies to actually take out all the orcs. Pretty much, actually, them and my men were actually pretty much guys to take out the orcs. Pretty much. Hurt. So we're just pretty much doing damage. Them, so if we die, then. ooh, I can see we actually lost another it. We only have one inch remaining. And his 
fight. And the aliens are actually, some of the aliens over here are actually just chilling out with them. They're trying to make a defensive position on that. You can just see arrows fly in the air. You can just see a fight going on. Right here is the most gruesome part because this is where you, it's elves and orcs, there's massive numbers of them lying on the battlefield, hoping that they will get to go home and see their families. It is quite sad. No, 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 Go, go, go! Back up our allies! Move it in! Go! We'll fight them off! Our enemy has command of the castle! You will die, Orc. The enemy is no longer in command of the castle. So our allies are actually fighting off a bit of them. And that's actually pretty much the end of the... Roleplay, they actually pretty much lost the battle, we, the countdown ended, they all routed, and that was the end of the battle. And as we go to a quick quick through the battle, you can see the ants destroyed many, many of the orcs. As elves destroyed so little, the ants probably got the most kill out of all the orcs. But as you can just see, elves and orcs just lie by, side by side in the battlefield where they all fought and died together. Well, they didn't die together, but they just died side by side because they were enemies, and that's what they pretty much do because they all die side by side. You can actually see where the allies actually set up all their siege equipment where they came in and fought. Our allies actually faced the most gruesome death here. They This is probably where they lost most of their men. As for over here, this is where we lost most of our men. So actually, when we came up on the walls right there, we lost a bit of our men. Lost a lot of men here. And actually it was opposite for these guys. They lost a lot of men here. But just a bit here. So I hope you actually enjoy this. First Lord of the Rings battle. Oh my gosh this actually looks cool. Just have like some orcs right there. Swinging at this poor guy. Just a couple of them swinging. At each other. Having some elves look like they're trying to flank around. Yeah so I hope you actually enjoyed this battle. And if you want more, leave a comment down below saying you want more Third Age Troll War. We got I got a couple ready for video upload and for already. So if you get every Third Age, I actually might make a tutorial on how to get Third Age for Medieval Total War. And also, if you ever wanted to play with me, you can always just, well leave a comment down below. But also, if, like I said, I'm probably make a tutorial, but if you guys want me to right away, leave a comment down below for me able to Total War. And I will see you guys on the battlefield. Goodbye!